Sir, do I live this morning, but I feel like to me that rush about getting ready to come and start my day, I'm not get to say everything. Right, so today's seminar, we are going to have an next short seminar. And this seminar is called Setting Your Seals, right? Every good, semi every good seminar must have a, a title, right? Set your seals, right? Set your seals. This is the you talk about setting the seals, right? Top form, will to power, make the sacrifice, pay the price. Talk about setting of the seals, right? And what setting of the seals, right? The best way to explain somebody what setting of the seals is like if you ever watch a pirate movie, right? If you ever watch a pirate movie, and when you see what's happening in the movie, right? You see if them come under attack, you see all hands on deck, basically just repositioning the seals, right? That's what it is. That's what that is, right? Like, so, setting your seals. Having your seals in place because make no mistake about it. All values will be attacked, right? But if you don't have your philosophy, because having your, your philosophy is your, is your seals. Blessed love. Today we are talking about setting your seals. If you just are drive, joining me, right? And I set your seal is basically your philosophy, right? Your guiding principle. What will you live by, right? Having your philosophy, having your goals, right? Today we are talking about setting the seals, right? And today's seminar is all about setting of the seals and why is it important to set your seals. As I said, if you ever watch like a movie, a pirate movie, right? One of them famous and the most popular one is Captain Jack Sparrow. You know what I mean? Pirates of the Caribbean, as soon as they come under attack, all hands on deck, just repositioning that seal, resetting that seal. Why are they doing that, right? Because you know what? They are heading to a destination and that path that the chart is probably dangerous. That path is blocked. They are getting attacked. So what they have to do, right? They literally have to change direction, change course, right? And you know the beauty about these pirate movies, right? Doesn't matter, you know, if they are heading to a destination and they come on the attack and they change direction, they reposition themselves at the end of the day, right? They still end up at the destination, right? And this is why when you watch movie, don't just look at it for just the entertainment value. Look, what can I learn? It's not, it's not about what can I get, it's what am I becoming. Even if you're at a job, right? It's not what you're getting at the job, it's what you're becoming. Right? A lot of us get paid to die. A lot of us get paid to become stagnant. Right? As a wise man said. I so think it was Jim Rohn. It's not what you're getting from your job. It's what are, what are you becoming. That is the most important thing. So when you watch these pirate movies, right? And they get attacked. And you notice all hands on deck and they reposition in the seals. And they go through that choppy waters. They manage to get through that attack. At the end of the day, right? They still end up at the direction. What does that say? So for me, who is watching that? How do I get the life lessons from that? How do I get the life lessons from setting my seal? Now, setting your seals is having your philosophy. Is having your goals, right? Yes, you're going to get attacked. Yes, you're going to come up against struggles, right? Yes, you're going to feel like you can't do it. Yes, you're going to feel overwhelmed. Yes, you're going to get this courage at time to time all these are negative forces just attacking you attacking you the negative friend the negative partner the, the economy everything just attacking you right but once you have that philosophy and you have your goal because your end your good the ending of it is a goal is what you want to achieve right like i said right when you watch this pirate movie doesn't matter how much time captain jack sparrow get attacked if he's going to caribbean if he want to head to, Car to the caribbean to pick up them rum right or to pick up them spices or to go and look for them last treasure right once i set the seals they still manage to reach a destination no setting your seals is no different you know setting your seals having your philosophy is no different yes and those who's watching you're watching top form we we talk about philosophy over here we are the philosophical clothing brand we are talking about principles that we have implemented in our life and principles that work we are not telling you from a point of view from a third party we are telling you about stuff that we have learned and stuff that we have implemented in our life and see the benefits this life is not going to be for everybody because some people just want to be entertained and this won't be entertained this life is for serious people and this morning life is about setting your seal what is setting your seal that means having your philosophy having your goals why is it important right if you have a goal in mind you have a philosophy in mind then you can always know that all right what is happening here this is what i need to do to navigate it i need to reposition myself one everything of value will be attacked all right so if you have a goal if you go to our work if you get a job right and you have a goal and say by five years from now right 
drop you. Have a good day. Blessed, my fam. Yeah, man. No worries, man. Blessed, blessed. We just here. Yeah, we know some on every live. Yeah, um, but thanks to your thanks to your knowledge and appreciate. Right? As we said, this man, we just come by because it's been on my soul, right, to come here because I feel like nowadays I have to come and express myself, right? And this morning, like the spirit is saying to me, talk about setting your seals. Try to use a movie analogy. And one of the best ways to, to use a movie analogy, I say, look, have you ever watched a pirate movie? And see, sometimes, right, these ships out in the, with the pirates on board, they will come up against opposition. They will get attacked, right? But if you notice one thing they always do, right, as soon as they get the command attack, all hands on deck, turning the seals, setting the seals, reposition. Because guess what? This path that they charted, they did not know that maybe there was people lying a late to ambush them. No, you, your life is no different. <laughs> Blessed, we get a one life. Your life is no different, right? You got a goal. You got your philosophy, right? You are going to come on the attack. And this is why we say set your seals. Now, if you apply for a job or you are in college, or you said by you have your five-year plan, you have your one-year plan, you have your six months, whatever. Once you have done that and you can identify this is my goal once you have your seals when you if you end up in a bad relationship right if you have an idea what a good relationship supposed to be and we all make choices and we are not perfect right you make a choice you end up in a situation that you didn't see but you can say all right this is my goal for my goal is for my life to be happy i want it to be filled with laughter and if you end up in a relationship with a toxic partner then it's about resetting your seal it's about just saying look i made a mistake here this path that I charted was not as smooth, right? So Anzandek, 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 reposition in your seal, reposition, reposition in your seal. Because guess what? Once you're repositioning your seal, just like in the pirate movie, just like in the pirate movie, you will end up at your destination. But to not think that you're going to come up against pushback, now you're not going to come up against obstacles, now you're not, that you're not going to come up against fight, right? Not, you're not going to be motivated every day. You're not going to make, the, not every day you're going to make all the right choices to get to your destination. And this is why I, if I said, watch the pirate movie, I think Captain Jack Sparrow, um, um, how you call it, Pirates of the Caribbean, as soon as these guys come on the attack, and this was what today when I said, what do I talk about on my life today, right? Because I did a live this morning and I feel like I didn't say everything and this, the, the voices, the scriptures, you know, that, that God in you is saying, talk about setting your seals. Use the pirate movie as an example. And if you watch a pirate movie, as soon as these guys come on the attack, all hands on deck. And this is why you need people on your ship that will fight in your corner. People in your ship, people on your ship, people in your life. Because your life is like a ship. You have to put a good set of, of, captain, of people on your, in your life who will help you, who will stand up for you, who will fight with you. Right? Does that make sense? Right? So as soon as things is not going right, you need your family, you need your friends to can help you to reset your seals. You need your kids. Right? Because if you need to go back to university, you need to leave an abusive partner, you, they need to know that I need to hold him down, I need to hold her down in a good way to let know that you got somebody in your corner, right? And that is what it means, setting yourself. But first, you have to have your philosophy. Once you have your philosophy in place, nothing can de de derail you, right? It can let you see the obstacles, what you need to do, what you need not to do how long you need to stay this course because as I said when you look on these ships they will come under attack but there's one thing if you watch pirate movie if you love pirate movie there's one thing you can bet your last dollar on they are going to reach the destination but one thing we can all hold up our hand and say oh I've seen it we can when we watch a pirate movie we all seen the ships come under attack we all seen ship we all see people try to ambush them to take their cargo we all seen it Right, and life is no different. Ladies and gentlemen, who is watching me? Your life is no different. You are going to feel like people want to take what's yours. You're going to feel like you, you may be working at a, in an organization for 10 years, right? And you're going to get somebody because they got the gift of the gap, they have more confidence. They're going to come and feel like they want to skip above you and get that promotion that you feel you duly deserve. Right, but if you have your sales, if you are sitting there and say it is a bit choppy, I need to change course, I need to leave this, I need to leave this job, I need to leave, and I'm not just saying leave job willy nilly because, like some people tell you, leave your job, become an entrepreneur. No, you can become successful at your job, you can have a happy and fulfilling life if you are doing something that you love. Right, I would never sit here and tell somebody to leave your job and take it lightly, but what I'm saying, right, having the philosophy in place, don't just get up and put on your clothes and go through the 
emotion, right? Know that you, this is what I should, this is what we are want to be in life. How am I there? How am I any closer? Because if you don't have a goal, then you don't know if you are near to what you want your life fulfillment or your purpose. You don't know if you are near or far from happiness, if you are near to sadness. You are just existing, right? And the beauty as I use the, the pirate movie as a reflection point. Watch a pirate movie. Sit down. Don't just watch it for the entertainment value. Watch it and see what can I apply. What life lessons is there? Look, I cannot stress it. No. This is Print. These are stuff that work for me. Forgive me the confidence to start my clothing brand. I said, this is what I want my clothing brand to reflect it. For people who want to the best, the better version of themselves. Not just the people who want somebody to come and motivate them. Because I'm not here to motivate people who don't want to look for themselves. Don't want to learn for themselves. Don't want to read from them for themselves. Right? Because we, as a wise man said, if you're motivated idiots, then you just have a lot of motivated idiots on you. And currently in this life we live in, we have a lot of motivated idiots because a lot of people is motivated by sound bites. The people may do a, a podcast and they get a good sound bites and they cut it down to 30, 30 seconds or 15 seconds, right? And then a lot of people may hear that and become motivated by that. I'm here to tell you, you got to make the sacrifice. You got to pay the price. You got to use your will to power. You can't be lazy in learning. Always look what can I learn? What lesson is in this for me? How can I benefit? Even when I sit down to watch a movie, I'm not just there to, ent to be entertained. I'm listening for that line because a lot of times when you watch a movie, some very profound lines are in it. When I sit down this man, I'm thinking, how can I speak to the people that watch my TikTok video? If somebody's watching my video for a minute, I need to make sure they learn something or leave, can see something. And I'm saying to the, that person, right? Watch a pirate movie watch every pirate movie it's written in the script they will be attacked two or three times before they reach a destination one that is showing persistence one that's showing that they have the the, the ability to adapt because yeah, so you have to have that adaptability you have to have persistence you have to have confidence you have to have the right people on your ship right and remember, in the beauty, I'm watching a pirate movie, you know, anybody who is not carrying the load, as soon as they go through the choppy waters, they throw them overboard. <laughs> and oftentimes in our life, we call on people in our times that are of need, and they did not show up for us, they did not hold us down, they did not help us. And when we've been through that storm, we still keep them in our life. <laughs> you understand where I come from? I wonder if you understand where Tabfa Abba come from. Yes, man. Oftentimes, you know, we are going through our struggles and we call on people who we thought were our friends and they were nowhere to be seen. What should you do? Just like in the pirate movie, as soon as it might, it's a, as soon as they've been through that, that choppy waters, because you can't make decision when you're going through a valley. You understand where I come from? Because that the, the valley will it will pass. But for me, right, as I was listening to I think it was an Earl Nightingale saying so that should make a, a now it was three feet from goal. Don't make a decision when you're down in the valley. That means say when you're down and you're feeling sad and you're this, wait until you are at a right place. Rise in love. Blessed love, man. Rise in love. You know, see what Top Farm is all about. Honestly, you might not know me as a big name, but once I start reading, once I start listening to people like Jim Rohn or people like Bob Proctor, people like Earl Nightingale, as Bob Proctor said, once you understand the magic chick, it's no longer magic. But once you understand life, it becomes magical. And that's something that I can hold my hand up. Because even watching movies, you can be watching and, and educating yourself, learning lessons, picking up little nuggets. Does that make sense, right? So for me, it's all about, all right, watching a pirate movie and say, okay, life is no different. Sometimes you change course and you end up in more choppy waters. Sometimes you change course because sometimes you change a job and it turns out not to be a good, the, the, the best decision you ever make. But look, it's life. Life is about making decision, right? Life is about making decision. It's your, it's your choice. You have to learn to use your right to make choices. Not making a choice, you allowing somebody to make a choice for you. It's like if somebody asks you, what do you want to eat? And you said, mm, bring me anything. And when they bring, sometimes it's best if you just stick, if you stick to what you know and said, all right, I'll have that and that. Because sometimes, you know, you might work out in your favor right but nine out of ten times you're like Ugh, I don't I didn't like then you start realize I don't like that I did not want that but with you not making a choice by default you are making a choice because you are allowing somebody to make a choice for you right 
So this is why we just stopped by this morning and said, if you ever get the chance to watch a pirate movie, watch it and you will get a lot of life lessons, all right? This morning talk was all about having your philosophy, set your seals, having your philosophy, setting your seals, setting your goals. That means if you need accepting of self is key. Of course, after of accepting of self is key, accepting responsibility. Too much of us um, have too many peoples to blame for our shortcomings, right? And we have to accept that we are who we are and where we are because of our thoughts, right? Yes, and um, yeah, the day you become from a child to an adult is when you are willing to accept responsibility for your life, right? Too much adult child. And if you are watching a top farm or if you ever one day want to click on the link and buy a top farm shirt, that's it. I want you to wear it with the knowing that I am aware that I will use my will to power because until you start use your will to power, until you start accepting responsibility for your, who you are and where you are, right because of your choice and you can't change your destination overnight but you can change your direction all right so if you're sitting down and you're thinking what does my tenure look like this is where i'm heading i don't have a health planning process i don't have a financial plan i don't have a family plan right then that's where you that's where you're destined to be but if you start put these little things in place right so as jim Rohn said in the book seasons of life you can't change your destination overnight but you can change your direction, right? It's there. Don't be lazy in learning. Honestly, mm -hmm. we're living in a time everybody just wants to be entertained. And that's fine. Everybody have the right to make them choices. I, I learn to take responsibility for my action. I learn to be confident. I learn to express myself. I learn not to be lazy in learning. I learn that... I learned that the philosophy is important. This is why in the, before... The, in, here's our way back. Philosophers, thinkers people who could help people to understand things and don't think the successful people are not reading the books that the philosophers has, has written right that's why when you talk to successful people they are happy to fry your brain with philosophies the frederick nietzsche's the marcus Aurelius, and some of the names that i can't even call because philosophy there's nothing's going to change your life more until you get your philosophy in place get your philosophy set your seals Watch the movies of the pirates. Watch them as soon as they come on the attack, right? Sometimes they take your seal down, you know, because there's times they need to let your ear down. But as soon as they come on the attack, all hands on deck, we just sit, we just, and your life should be no different. Your loved ones in your life, if you are coming on the under attack, they should be able to help you to reposition, reset your seals. And I guarantee you, you might have to change course two or three times, but just like in the movies you will you will reach a destination you're watching top farm where for those who want to know more about me give me a follow right and i don't want people to become over consumed with what i'm saying because as damian molly would say if you i don't want you to get in too deep but i want to help you to get a new way of thinking right i want you to accept the fact that Thinking is just something that you should not give up. You should not allow people to think for you. That's too important of a job. All right? And discipline your thought. Don't doubt yourself. Don't use a thought process to hold yourself prisoner. All right? Don't believe your doubts and doubt your belief. Believe in yourself. Have confidence in yourself. We're living in a time right now where if you are not confident, if you are not showing up, right? As a wise man said, you're either, on the, you're either at the table or you're on the menu. All right, so if you feel like you are currently on the menu, get yourself off the menu and get yourself at the table and start reading the books. Start reading the books. Start listening. Are you reading many books causes confusion? Find one or two books and when you read them, take out stuff of value that you can use in your life on a daily basis. Honestly, it does work. It does work. It does work. And a lot of people said motivated. It's not about being motivated. It's about just saying, look, reading, setting yourself, develop your philosophy. Develop your philosophy because once you have your philosophy, you take your philosophy in your workplace, you know what you are about. You're showing up and you're showing up with confidence and you know that you're a person of value, right? You're showing up in your relationship. If you have your relationship philosophy in place, nobody can use you. Nobody can um, take you for granted, right? Because you have your philosophy and once you have your philosophy, you can always compare and contrast, all right? And once you can do that, then your life will look different. You are who you are and where you are because of your thought. All right? A man who think of nothing becomes nothing. All right? So, with that said, every good performer when it's time to leave the stage. I get like five people who are religiously really watching me. I hope you get something of value. As a wise man said, I'd rather give you more money than give you my time. 
right? Plant the seed of love everywhere. Blessed man, plant the seed of love, right? And when I first hear that, I'm like, I'm not giving away my money, but he said, I, I can get more money, but I can't get more time. So hopefully you have, you have learned something, are willing to see something different, right? That will have benefit in with you sharing 10 minutes of your time with me, all right? It's easier to give somebody, because sometimes, if you're even in a relationship, a lot of people hold on to relationship because they invest so much money in it, right? Not knowing that they still have the time that can they could take that knowledge that 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 they learn from that relationship. You have a beautiful song, blessed, right? And go and double that money that they claim that they lose. A lot of people, I'm not leaving ERC because I've invested so much money or so much time. No, what you invested, if you take it with you, if you have realized it's compound. Because if you are were in a bad relationship, then you you will know what a good relationship look like. If you you understand what I'm saying. If you are in a bad relationship, don't sit because you think I've, I've invested some because now you should know what a good relationship look like. So you have already doubled what you have invested. All right. Blessed love. From time to time, I'll put it in a song. From time to time, I'll take out my phone and speak in my phone. I just go with the flow because I realize, yeah, if you have something to say, say it. You know, we are on a social media platform. It's for entertainment. So, as the Bible said, time and place are everything. A time when you want to hear my voice and a time when you want to see the crazy video. But what you don't want to do is just constantly want to be entertained. All right? Life is about balance. All right? When it's work time, it's work time. When it's time to learn, it's time to learn. Add value to yourself. When you add value to yourself, your life will change. Honestly. Right? Honestly. 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 I live a philosophy at time. To think that if I have a job at my poorest, at my most destitute times, Right? It was, was when I, I just have a job, but I did not, I, I, not see myself as personal value, right? So add value to yourself and you will see, you'll see the benefit. You'll see the benefit, right? Be persistent. Have confidence. Have courage. You're lacking courage. It will cause a lot of distress in your life, financial distress, all kinds. So have courage. Have the courage to love. Have the courage to want more out of life, all right? Blessed love. One round, one roses. One roses, all right. As I said, I, I hate leaving. I got like six, but every good performer knowing this. And I felt like I've said everything. So this morning's seminar was all about setting your seals. And the best way to explain it, if you watch a pirate movie, as soon as they come on the attack, they are repositioning the seal. Your life is no different. Your life should not be no different. You will come on the attack. We are living on a planet with contrasting view. I am no, I'm Jamaican with an Irish name, you know, <laughs> right? Uh, we are going to command the attack. We are going to command the attack, right? But if you have that philosophy, if your philosophy is right, if you if you have your seals in place, there's times when you're going to drop your guard, when you'll become complacent, when you will become um, discouraged, when you are not as motivated, when you are not, because we are only human, right? But once you identify that, you can start to, yeah. And start to get your seals and get the wind in your back to take you to your destination. All right. I think they said 70% of this blue planet is actually water. You might not feel it, but we are in an ocean of life. All right. And if you have your seals up, if you have your destination, if you plan your course, and if you're making sure you're taking on people in your life of sound judgment, good character, then you will reach your destination with love. Top form, will to power, make the sacrifice, pay the price. If you're interested about this, to wear this with pride, because it's not, it's not about just being physically fit, it's about being mentally, all right? And want the best version of yourself. That's what this brand is all about. Click on the link, it will take you to my shop. We ship and we post all over the world, all right? We are just an honest person to trying to do some extraordinary stuff to say this thing work all right personal development right and i will always recommend books from time to time the first book i read was um what's it called uh, the financial richest man in babylon when i read that i was embarrassed about my financial education because i was uh, trying to live in a world that has governed by financial principles that's been taken from that book all right so yeah the richest man in babylon was literally the first book i've listened to and the, and the book that really changed my life once i read the richest man in babylon right then i came across other man thinking as a man thinking it think it in his heart so is he a man think it secret but it come to pass a man is nothing but a looking glass if you think you are good for nothing then your environment then your life will be good for nothing all right that was it so once i read that book i came across Napoleon Hill. All right? 
Yeah, and once we read Napoleon Hill, we came across Bob Proctor and we came across Les Brown. The first person we came across was actually Jim Rohn. All right, so it is all written down. Once you start, don't be lazy in learning. Don't be lazy in learning because whatever you're doing in life, as I said in this morning, in my earlier video, you have to evolve, right? This, if you notice, the, if you were born in the 80s, 70s, the world is unrecognizable to you. How do you keep up? How do you not get left behind? No one is coming to pull you in the 21st, in, in the future. You have to step in the future. You have to read. You have to educate yourself. All right? You have to willing to make that sacrifice. And this is why I say life requires some sacrifice that money can't buy. You have to learn to use it, the latest technology. Right? Even if you are an expert in a field, there is a young mind out there who is coming up with an easier way. We, we like to blame the... We, we, yeah, blessed man, or keep educating. Yeah, keep educating. Cause we like to say the newer, the younger generation is lazy. That every generation that have a generation coming behind them, oh, they are lazy. No, they are always looking on a way how to be more efficient, how to save time. All right. So if you are in a field for the past thirty years and you still want to say this is how we do things around here, you are dead. You did not take the time. All right. I just said a body in motion remains in motion. You're either evolving or you're dying. Nothing stands still. So don't be lazy in learning. If you haven't read over the past 10, 15 years, it's never too late to start. All right? Top form. Will to power. Blessed love. As I said, every good performer when it's time to leave the stage. I just want to come by and just say thanks for your time. Have a blessed day. Food for thought.